Oh, Josh, what a day! So nice just to be able to sit back and spend a bit of time relaxing. I feel it like is. we've been so busy recently. We've we've done a lot of building, and it, it, the weather's really warming up. It really only feels like a few weeks ago that we were preparing for winter, making our woolly warm coats and shoveling the snow, but here we are on the brink of summer, enjoying a nice fruity punch on our rock and watching the sun set over the ocean. Before long though, it's time to head back inside. Here, I'll take my drink. I'll leave it. It's all good. We'd been building a new house behind the workshop there for new residents, one of which has already moved in. Dion. He was abandoned by his parents in the ocean. House is coming together nicely. It is. It was, uh, I think Dion's taken up residence. Let me go check in on him. Yeah, there he is. Oh, is he in there? In a soft, reassuring tone, I said, Good night, Dion! <laughs> the echo in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the retaining walls coming up well. Ready for some new plots. Alongside the new communal home, we have some new plots ready to be made up into various houses and buildings, all of which will have a different use. But that's a topic for another day. What I would like to talk about now is Josh's attitude towards me tonight. I, I cooked him dinner and gave him some berries and this is the thanks I get. I hope that the bed bugs bite. Say that, say that again. Say it's fine, I, I, I'm a grown boy. I can put myself to bed. What he says doesn't affect me, not at all. <laughs> The sun rose again, and with it, one of the undead. I think it's a sign that we need to hone our archery skills. Yeah, oh. look, I've got a bow here. Uh, no arrows, though. One of Josh's distant relatives was waiting outside under our porch, hiding from the sun, and we couldn't have that. We couldn't have anyone thinking that the Spruce Hamlet was a place of refuge. All right, where I is he? I see him. He's got to be around here somewhere. Hmm, Skindiana Bones was waiting just around the corner, bow drawn at the ready. But Josh was quicker. Oh! Got oh, 10 six. Oh! Nice work! <laughs> this early morning encounter prompted us to test our archery skills to ensure we can protect our residents, and more importantly, us. Let me, let me try and hit something from here. What are we, what are we aiming for? Good question, let's see. Okay, the, oh, the lantern on uh, Dion's house. The lantern on Dion's house. Yeah, here, you, you shoot and then I'll shoot. All right. Did you? D did I hit that? Not only did Josh hit it, he nailed it! Successfully hitting such a small target from this far away, especially on the first shot, maybe we don't need to practice our archery skills at all. I took a few arrows out of Josh's quiver and lined it up for myself. Surely, I had the same skills as my buddy Josh. Okay, okay, here. Oh, wow! Oh my god! Oh, oh hang on. That one was a little off. Here, you gotta spot me. Where, where do I go? Left? Right? That's okay, not every great archer hits his first shot. With Josh's guidance, I'll- That's okay. I'll get it on the next one. There was a gust of wind on each one of those previous shots, but the wind has died down now. Wow, a bullseye. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, it's fine. I'll get it in the next shot, Josh. I promise you. You'll see. Watch this. While I was getting frustrated with this archery, it didn't cross my mind that this is Dion's house. And it would appear that the sound of the arrows hitting his shutters woke him up. Okay, that's just a few meters below. Below, okay. So a bit of up? Yeah, a bit up. <laughs> oh, I think you... I think you shot in through the trap doors. And hit uh, Dion. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happened. It was only two days ago that we rescued Dion from that frozen boat. Okay, so you're a little low. Oh, there's Dion. He's in the firing line. And within those two days, he's already been critically damaged by me and Josh. Wow. Having gone down and collected our arrows, prying them from Dion's house, Josh came up with the fabulous idea that we should build an archery range. Well, I guess we need to find a good place to make an archery range. Somewhere safe. Maybe with like a... with nothing behind it. Yeah, we needed to find a suitable location on the hamlet for this archery range with nothing behind it that could be shot and killed. Josh and I don't have the money for a lawyer in court facing our busy schedules to, to deal with this, let alone the room in the spruce hamlet for a filthy grave. Disgusting. And then we saw this. The stone valley. Well, uh, well, hang on. How about we have a... Because I like the idea of shooting in the valley, right? Like we can have different targets at different levels. What oh, about we true. have? What about we have like a platform up here that's sort of at the same height as up oh. here. Careful now. And like, we can have different targets. Yeah, like a truss platform here. Yeah, right. yeah. How nice would that be? And that way, um, we don't have to, we can put some hay bales up, but even if it goes over the hay bales, there's this big cliff here for it to, to catch. I mean, I don't know how much better a plan can sound. This is in a stone valley. Nothing can get hit anywhere. There is going to be no court cases or gravestones in our immediate future. I mean, there is these alpacas on the top of the range, but well, one, they're not sentient, and two, who's going to miss them? With a vision set in stone of what we want to make, it was time to make this 
vision a reality. Josh got started digging a channel for the water to run down into the lake while I started building the platform that we shoot from. Our brand new archery range is going to feature three lanes, all of which can be shot at simultaneously. Perfect for you and two of your best buds to test out your brand new crossbows that you got for Christmas. Of course, any archery range isn't complete without their own set of unique targets and this one is no different. The Spruce Hamlet archery range will be open 24 seven, allowing you and your buddies to swing by anytime. And no need to bring anything from home as we have everything you need at your disposal. Enjoy a fun family night out or challenge your buddies to beat your high score in our archery range now featuring a safety precaution swing by any time or book in the comments below to secure your position what a what a hard days few work josh what a few days hard work josh a, a day's view of working hard that's right and uh and look what we've got this new wonderful archery range all right perfectly designed to hone our skills in the form of long range stabbing give me a tour of the place here, I'll pretend to be a, a welcomed visit visitor. Hello there. Welcome to the archery range. Come Mate. on in. Thank you. Uh, we'll step up here first. Oh, very here nice. Here we have a multitude of shooting uh, lanes, naturally, to keep the individual as an individual. That's right. We don't want to, you know... First rule of archery. <laughs> oh, no. hey, hey. We have some training bows and arrows. Oh, as well perfect. As a few crossbows there. Josh showed me the safety equipment we had in stock and... Showed me down to the range. It was time to take a look at the targets. If you would kindly don a safety hat. Yep, done. There we go. Into the range we'll go. This is first and foremost. Before you enter the range, you got to ring that bell. That a little tickle. There you go. So, it lets the others know that we're on the range, right? Exactly. So ideally they'll stop. Uh, so we have a path up to each target to retrieve the arrows. Nice large targets they are too. Hay bales to, to catch the arrows, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. So this one simulates uh, naturally one of those dirty, filthy little gob here. We have an armoured target. Ah, interesting. So you have to try and, if you want to hit this guy in the head, you have to shoot him between the slits. All right. And continuing on. A large, a large button target off in the distance. That's right. We have some some weak points. All those work in progress. <laughs> That's right. And up here, our last long range target. Oh, nice. Yeah, look, all the way back there is the shooting, shooting gallery. Wow. Now, with the tour completed, it's time to have a game of our own. With a plethora of different targets to hit, three lanes to choose from, and bows and arrows at the ready, we just needed to decide on the rules. That's strange. Okay. So let's let's have an arrow limit. How many arrows? Um. Well, I've only got uh, I've got four in my quiver. Do you think ten? Let's do yeah. Let's do ten each. There we go. A nice simple rule. Whoever can score the most points with ten arrows. Well, wins. But this is where the day took a turn for the worst. Something happened that neither of us were ready for. Oh my god! <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Okay, um, we were training for this, not now. <laughs> oh, yes. There's no better way than to... Oh. Josh and I both grabbed a bow and arrow because, well, all of that was within reach. We've seen this kind before, ransacking villages all along the country. I didn't recognize these faces though, but Josh and I couldn't risk the Spruce Hummet being under siege by these men and their crossbows. So we took haste in, in ending their lives and protecting the inhabitants of our very own home. Oh, you got him. Oh, is that everyone? Yeah, I think you got, you got two of them. I got one. Jeez. I guess they, oh, maybe they just wanted to try out the archery range. First they even brought their crossbows. Oh, I didn't get shot once. Did you get shot once? I don't think they shot at all. <laughs> I think they were actually hiding. We felt horrible. These young men must have heard wind of our new shooting range and wanted to come by and give it a shot. Maybe even have a few games amongst themselves. But that won't be happening anymore. We buried the bodies very deep under the ground and swept it all under the rug. These men will be forgotten today. And not just by us, but everyone. Um, All right, so uh, okay, let's well, let's it's go. It's starting to become nighttime. Yeah, it is. Now there is there is lighting. Oh, there is lighting. Oh, there is too. Let's let's say there's like, yeah, there's no more than five seconds between each shot. Okay. And there's ten shots. Shall I shall I just count to thirty? Thirty seconds. That's three seconds between. Let's, you shoot them as fast as you can. With more complicated rules, we decided to scrap them all and just keep the original 10 arrow limit. And we created a point system on each set of targets based on distance and difficulty. Okay, close range. There's close range, mid range, and long range. Close range, one point. Mid range, two points. Long range, three points. Okay. But then the little guy in the middle, there's five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, all geared up and having the point system sorted, it was time to test out the Spruce Hamlet Archery Range. Let those arrows fly, baby. Right, I'll give you 30 seconds, alright? 
Alright, when my arrow strikes the ground, alright? Oh, I don't know, I, I don't know. I'll say go. It's a good thing we got this roof. Go! Alright, start right, with the so close range. Guy. Hit him. It's a one pointer. Here, do you want to grab your arrows? Yeah. So that's one, one point. Two points. One point. Yeah, I hit the button here. While we were in the range collecting Josh's arrows, I was starting to get a little bit concerned. He outperformed himself, hitting almost every target with every arrow. I know for a fact that I will not be able to perform like that. And we decided that the winner will get to sit back and relax while the loser has to cook a nice nourishing dinner. One, two, three, four, five. This one just disappeared. The second Nine. I get close. 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, and this trapdoor is open, so you hit yeah, them hit for... You got 17 points. I forgot that the last target was 3 points, so Josh actually got 19. Wow, good job. Okay, uh, gotta get limbered up. Alright, here, let me give you a little... Um... Now, my aim is significantly worse. Here you go. Okay, I'm ready. Alright, are you ready? Yes, sir. I'm s are you steady? I'm steady. Draw! It was time to go and count my score. Alright, so what's that? One point? One point. Yep, one point here. Which, do these count? Uh, no, not that one on the side doesn't count. So that's two okay, points. So that's two points. As we made our way down the range, it wasn't looking good. Yeah, I may have shot a few targets every now and then, but not every arrow. I was probably hitting only 50% of my shots. I think dinner's on me. You hit one at the back here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ooh. Fourteen points. You, uh, you beat me on that one, Josh. Good job. Nice. I don't know why I can't pick up arrows. Uh, no, I think they go straight into your quiver. Oh. I lost, but I can't say that I didn't see it coming with my performance at the beginning of the video. Facing the inevitability of me cooking dinner, we decided to head home. There was no point in delaying it any further. Now, considering I have the amazing ability to turn any meat into an actual piece of charcoal, I've got a feeling that Josh's win might not feel as good by the time the food is on the plate. I do, however, have an idea for a new dinner that we haven't had before, that if I do it just right, will be the best meal Josh has ever eaten. To prepare for this dish, I needed to gather some resources, some eggs from the chicken farm and some vegetables from the vegetable farm. Once I'd gathered the required ingredients, we headed back across the bridge and back home. It was gonna be a late dinner or an early breakfast, but boy, were we hungry and ready. We may have been ready for dinner, but we weren't ready for what we would see on the other side of this bridge. Oh, no! Wait. Dion! 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 Ah! Dion was tainted by this otherworldly beast. They were coming after us, gnawing their gaping maws at us. Dion, what happened to you? Why are you like this? Is what I thought while running for my life. Josh had the brilliant idea to lure Dion back into the house and trap him in there. For after all we had done for Dion, we couldn't let this be the way he goes. A brainless corpse walking around looking for a nice chunk of sexy meat like me. We had to act quickly, however, because Dion wouldn't be safe outside with the sun rising. Close it! Close it! Oh! Ow. Get out the window! God! <laughs> we'll find a way to fix you, John. We'll find a way. I don't know if there is any hope for him, but we couldn't give up on him this easily. After all, we had seen some things in these lands that could lead us to believe there was a way to fix him. Well, it looks like I'm cooking breakfast now, but what can you do? Josh won and I lost, fair and square. My plan was to cook up a nice roast chicken with some vegetables on the side. So I threw the ingredients together on the grill, cooked them all up and let Josh relax as I cooked dinner for us. And in no time, didn't lunch, bre breakfast was served. All right. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> okay, now dig in, Josh. This is a dig roast. In. Yeah, we've got a roast chicken here. We've got some bread. Some carrots, some onions. Oh, this. A plate of roast chicken. Oh, wow. Well, let me put my, my my bowl away. I can't possibly fit another. Hang on. I think that uh, I think I must have eaten the wrong piece of chicken. Hang on. I gotta go to the outhouse. Oh. I added this portion into the video purely to show the outhouse. It's pretty cool. But someone arrived while I was in there. 
Good. I, <laughs> I, uh, I wouldn't go in there if I was you. Oh, Bob, we've got a traveling villager. I don't know if it was the smell of the roast chicken or whatever I just laid in the toilet, but this cheeky little guy came over and offered us a few different wares, one of which in particular caught Josh's attention and he had to show me. Look at what he's selling. Oh, oh an underground bastion map. Okay, this has piqued my interest. Josh, do you know how much money we have? Um, let me go check the coffers. All right, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep him busy. Okay. 